Hello, so welcome to another video on G-Points. Today, we want to look at a simple um, non-isothermal batch reactor uh, in G-Points. It's going to be a very simple model. So you have two equations, two differential equations, and um, in time, and you have the initial condition. So, so you have the, uh, the concentration with respect to time is given by this, and the concentration with, and the temperature with respect to time is given by that. So there's a kind of dependence of the temperature on the concentration here. So let's see how we can do this in G-Prots. So you have the value, the initially the reactor is at 15 degrees C and the initial condition for concentration is 1.0 gram mole per liter. Remember, there are two differential equations. You need two initial conditions, okay? So let's go to G-Prots now. Okay, so here is the, the G prompts code. I've created the code. So I have two variable types, concentration and temperature, because there are two variables there. This is the variable type that correspond to both of them. And then the model. So in the model, we have um, the variable already declared, concentration as C as concentration and T as temperature. So I've been using very simple variable name here so that the code will be clearer, but it's recommended I use descriptive variable names. Like instead of saying C, write concentration, for example. Okay, this is that is recommended. Then um, the equation that we have, remember we have um, time derivative with respect to C and that's dollar sign. Um, C minus exponential 10 divided by T plus 273 multiplied by C, this is the first equation. And this is the second equation, okay? Now, the use of freedom is obviously zero because there are two variables and there are two equations. So no problem, we don't need any assignment. If you go to the process, so we create a copy of that uh, model. So we call it batch and we set the initial condition. So the given initial condition so I, I decided to use within here, within that model, set, then, then specify the initial condition. C equals one and T equals 15 degrees C plus 273 to convert to Kelvin. Then run for 10 seconds. Okay, so let's run it. Let's see what we have. So if I use a reporting interval of, let's say 0 0.1 to get more points, then run it. Then I have the trajectory the concentration and the temperature. So this is how the concentration varies. So it goes quickly to, to zero around five seconds. And for temperature, uh, goes to zero around five seconds as well. So, okay, so that was a very short video. I hope that's useful. And I will see you in the next video. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and um, hit the notification button. If you find the video useful, try to, uh, don't forget to like the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.